Step one is to loosen the uh, plastic housing here. You can use a screwdriver to turn these from locked to unlocked. Then lift it up and pull from the back here. Uh, next, I'm going to pull the spark plugs out. There's usually a plastic tool that you can use, or your finger. Pop them up. You do want to keep track of the uh, the order of things. I'm going to take everything out and clean them, um, but there's an order in which they're layered uh, on this channeling here. But uh, I use some masking tape to uh, number the spark plugs so that I know. Once you get the uh, spark plugs out of the way, use a, a screwdriver to pry this plastic out of the way. And uh, if you have two hands, you'll pry and then lift out. At the same Once time. you get it loose, you'll see that it will slide right out, and I'll clean that later. Once it's out of the way, use a 10 millimeter socket to loosen up all the bolts. It should come up pretty easily. When you have, once you remove all of the bolts, as I did, uh, you're going to remove this breather valve, and the valve cover should come off uh, at that point. So now that the valve cover is uh, is off, I'm going to take some paper towels and some simple green, uh, and I'm going to clean up the surface area around the valve cover, uh, or I mean the, the head, um, and get rid of obviously the old gasket, and then I'm going to clean inside of the uh, of the wells themselves. There's some oil down there, oil in there. That one's pretty dry, and that one has oil in it. So the first three have oil. For the last three have oil. Uh, I'm going to clean that out. I'll show so you next, next, you're going. Well, I used a pair of uh, clippers here to remove the old rubber washers from each of these. So just cut them off. Uh, then I used some brake cleaner, some spray nine, and some elbow grease uh, to clean the, uh, the bolts off. Um, once they're cleaned up, like this one, what you want to do is uh, put the wash. Reassemble them like this one. So there's the, the bolt, the washer, and then the new rubber washer goes in there. I found a trick to uh, to get these on mass assembly line. Um, I took my socket, um, put the bolt on there like I was going to reattach it, um, and then find a hard surface with a pair of pliers here, and just pull on one side to get it over the that little bump. And once it's over example, of course. Ops through. Otherwise, you so can... So to clean the oil out of the uh, the spark plug well there, I'm going to use a 5 eighths socket, deep well socket. I think that should fit over. Yeah. I'm going to loosen up the spark plug, and then I'll use a, a magnetic extension to clean the, uh, the, uh, the well. I'm going to put a uh, paper towel in there attached to a pair of forceps and try to soak up the oil. It'll take a couple of applications. And I'm going to try to dry it out as best I can. So I uh, use some carp cleaner and I want to clean the, the matting surface and get rid of the old RTV sealant that's on here, oil, that when I put the new cover on there, uh, it uh, nothing gets in the way. All right. So if you look carefully, this is the old RTV. Try not to scratch the aluminum, and don't get the residue in the uh, the valve train there. It's going. Okay, it's going. So these are the old uh, old gaskets. I'm going to take these off and clean the area. Some of them are hard to get off. There we go. And here's the old valve cover gasket. I'm going to clean this as well. So I'm going to use the uh, super silicone sealant from 3M uh, to help bond the uh, valve cover. So you just apply a little bit on the half moon areas, as they call it, on the bulletins. Just a little bit. So 
go there. It's going to be some over here. And then I'm going to get back here. All right, uh, just check around, make sure that you've got all the holes lined up, and I'm holding it with one hand, then I'm gonna grab a bolt. Uh, I'll start with the two center ones, just to get them in there that, to, um, to hold it in place, then there's a, a, a specific order that you want to uh, tighten them down. Put these in there. back over them. So when putting the uh, the bolts back in, similar to putting a uh, tire back on the car, um, you want to start at opposite corners. So I just hand threaded, that's what I'm doing, hand threading the bolts in right now, uh, just to kind of get started. Then I'm going to do this one in this corner. Once I get some resistance, I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to go apply the opposite end. In this corner, and then I'll be down here. I think you get the idea. So once you get all the uh, the bolts in, and don't over tighten them because they'll strip. Uh, put these spark plugs back from where you got them. And again, don't over tighten that either. Uh, once you get all the spark plugs back in, you're gonna put this plastic housing thing back in. It just slides in, it locks in, that's it. Uh, then, once that's done, uh, go ahead and reroute the uh, the spark plug wires, the ignition coils, um, and you want to clean them. I have some uh, electronic cleaner that I'm going to use on the inside of here to get any of the oil stuff out. Once you route the, uh, the ignition coils the proper way, uh, you put this back on. Scratching. And then you cross your fingers and hope the engine turns on. Don't forget to reattach the breather hose that I removed earlier. That is it.